and I'm sure you've heard the news, and I know that it's been a busy sports weekend. I'm aware. I'm aware. I didn't want to come in here and talk about our bracket because I think, you know, nobody wants to hear about your bracket. I know your bracket is important to you, but, like, I don't care that your bracket is busted. I just don't. You know what I do care about? When big, when, when big conference commissioners, Power 5 commissioners, do things that help the sport, and Brett Yormark did that this week with the Big 12 Conference. The Big 12 moving forward is going to have a conference pro day. So rather than trying to make all these teams decide which schools they're going to go to and like, okay, how am I going to get to all of these different schools on all of these different days? He, he says to himself, why don't we have a Big 12 Pro Day? We'll just bring all the players from the Big 12 that we're going to have or participate in a Pro Day, and we're going to bring them to Dallas, and then every team can be there. How good is that? So now if you're a Big 12 player, even if you don't get invited to the Combine, you're going to get seen by all 32 teams in a workout environment. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Brett Yormark is doing a marvelous job in his role as the commissioner of the Big 12. He has done as well as as anybody out there, even even guys that have been there, you know, longer than him. I think that the Big 12 made a great move. I don't think he's done, by the way, in his moves. I don't think that the Big 12 is going to stand pat. I would expect it to grow uh, from a number of schools' uh, perspective, and it's because of things like this. He got to a television deal quicker than the Pac-12. He does something like this that gets all of his players' exposure. So now if you're a school out there, you're thinking to yourself like, okay, this guy's going to be an animal when it comes to revenue. This gonna, a guy is going to be an animal when it comes to exposure. Brett Yormark is getting it done. I'm very impressed. And at some point this offseason, we'll be able to sit down and have a long conversation with Brett Yormark. So I can't wait for that because I think he's doing a great job. And the Big 12 does something that it's like, well, yeah. Every conference should do that. And the only reason that they haven't announced that they're going to is, well, pride, to be honest with you. And I think in some instances, it's like, okay, if, if you're the SEC, do you really need to do that? Or are all those teams going to go to your major programs? Yeah, they probably will. But remember, this isn't necessarily about your Ohio State and your Alabama and your Georgias of the world. Right, All 32 teams are going to go to those places because those guys have top 10 picks, and so everyone's going to be there. This is about the programs that only have maybe one guy that might be a third-round player. There's a lot of those programs out there, or one guy that might be a first-round player. And guess what? You're only going to get 9 to 15 organizations at your school's pro day. Well, now... All of those players can come to Dallas and they'll have all 32 teams represented right there watching them work out. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Why didn't someone think of this before? And by the way, everyone should adopt this. And the only reason that you haven't is pride. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here. College football on Fox.